Here is an illustration of one of the most important features of human language. I'm going to say a sentence that has never been said before. The best way to cure scurvy is to drive around in a purple polka dot Kia Rio and sing happy birthday. See, that weird sentence has never been spoken before in all of time, yet when you heard it, the first time you ever heard it, you understood exactly what it meant. It's a false sentence because that's not the best way to cure scurvy. But you can only appreciate that a sentence is false if you understand what it means. And you did. You understood what it means even though your teachers and your parents were never able to tell you, oh, there's going to be this sentence, it's about scurvy and a Kia Rio, and when you hear it, it means this. So when you think about it, it's a mystery how you were able to understand this sentence the very first time you ever heard it. So how is it that you understood this sentence the first time you heard it? Human beings have been thinking about this issue for a long time, and they have only ever come up with one potential answer. And that answer is called compositionality. The idea is just that the meaning of a whole sentence is composed or built up out of the meanings of the parts, the words that make up that sentence. So what's going on in your brain when you hear that sentence about scurvy and a Kia Rio is that you know what scurvy is, you know what a Kia Rio is, you know certain grammatical rules for how sentences are structured, right? It matters what the, what the order of the words is, and you Plug in all of this information that you already have, the meanings of these individual terms, the rules for structuring sentences, you plug all of that in and you calculate, you figure out what the whole sentence means. This idea is incredibly simple. I'm done explaining it. It's over. But as we will see throughout this whole semester, this is an utterly essential central feature of human language, something that differentiates it from the primitive kind of communication that other animals might have, you know, like whales that communicate in the ocean or whatever. We have a complex set of grammatical rules. We have all of these words. We build up the meanings of sentences from those parts. That is our superpower. It's not opposable thumbs. Like you've heard that humans have opposable thumbs and that's cool. That is cool, but that's nothing compared to the compositionality of language.